Hey guys, TTMM here and welcome back to another episode in Jeremy's Town. I believe this is episode number 11, so let's um let's get into it. So last episode, if you remember, we built some houses. We built this house here. And then in between I built the this house, them two, and then some of them over there, which I'll show you in a minute. So the basic design to the houses are all the same. Except for the first one's a little bit different. Upstairs, I believe. Um, yeah, this one has got a bathroom as well. So you've got two bedrooms at the front, which are here. Um, there, and then you got a room for a bathroom there. But then I decided, let's do some bungalows. So the ones without stairs, which are these ones here. These are all exactly the same inside as well. Um, just more of a room. So maybe put a bed, a sofa, and some stuff in here when we kick them, kick them out. Then the garden, I did a little bit of work on as well. So you got that nice pond, flowers, and everything old people like. So that's what I did in between episodes, pretty much. And if we go over to the where we're working today, right? So this is where we're working today. Um, it's going to be a row of shops. So the first one is an estate age. Second one is jeweler. Third one is a shoe shop and the last one is a food shop. And then they're all repeated over there as well. So obviously they're different shops though. So the design I was thinking is oak up in the corners, stone brick and glass. Right so it's morning and yeah I'm gonna be able to see what I'm doing this time. So that one goes there. There we go. Like that. Maybe what have I done differently? Can I? There we go. That looks better. There we go. Right, now if I just go and build up here and take out the ones I don't need, which are these ones here. There we go. Now, I want quite big window frames, um, you know, so you can see in. So if I do glass, which is pretty much invisible, going across to there, that's the only issue you see. It doesn't actually connect up. It doesn't look great. Tell you what, let's put actual blocks in down here. So, and then put them across the top. Yeah, that, that, that looks pretty good as well. There we go. That isn't bad, is it? Maybe swap this one as well to a block. Yeah, that, hang on, that doesn't actually look that bad, does it? And let's put the same there. There we go, that that looks good. I think, does it, yeah. Yep, That that that's definitely how it's going to be, so... If I repeat the process on this side. Right, so both sides have now been done. That's going to be the same all the way down. So it looks the same and doesn't look too different. So now we've got to work on the sides. How can I do the sides? Maybe I should have solid sides. Maybe if I come back to... Oh, we're quite big, aren't we? Yeah. Maybe a bit big, actually. Maybe I should make it one smaller. No, actually, let's leave it for now. And let's... One, two, three, four, five, there we go. So, that's that side done. Right, so all the walls are now done. I just need to do the roof. So what design should I do for the roof? Maybe if we go like this. Come on. There we go. Um, then up one. Um, if I do the same like that. If I do the same again. Obviously a little bit higher. I didn't think this through there because now I am stuck. Let's go back up our awesome staircase. I actually do like that design of staircase. Maybe I could do that on the side and the back of the walls just to make it look a bit different, maybe. Um, could be an option, I suppose. And these ones here 
like that. I will have to go make some more. Uh, oh, whoops, that's not meant to happen. Right, back up the staircase. Right, now, give it a two-tone effect, maybe. There we go. And finally there. And maybe do these slabs all the way back. How does that look? Yeah, I like that design. So, I want to speed this up. Well, most of it, anyway. Some of it might be cut out. Of me uh, building the same front on the rest of the shops. Uh, just this side for now, though. I think I'll leave that side for another day. So, this is the jewellers. <laughs> I'll do later because as you can see I'm running rather low on snow and brick so I'll have to go and craft some more but I think that is looking quite nice um I'm, I'm quite impressed with how that's come out I don't quite know how I'm going to do the inside didn't really think of that much but I think this is going to come out quite nice I, I'm going to put the clock well actually let's have something to eat dead quick um I've been thinking like when I was building the town hall I think it was like two episodes ago I said about a clock, I'm putting the clock up here, which is going to be quite tall, um, I don't know what I'm making out of yet, but I think the view from the top of the clock will actually look quite good, as you can see all of this, obviously I will have to expand this fence at some point, because um, if we go down to the to-do board thing, jig, whatever it's called, uh, what did I call it? Let's have a look. Did, did I say is it like to-do list or something? Ah, what I need to build. There we go. So I've done, I've done the houses. Oh, I need to do the parking gardens, the bank, jewelers. So that's so I've got the bank. Uh, no, sorry, I've got the estate agents, and the town hall, the jewelers and the food shop, the builders and the arcade, the clothes and shoe shop will all be done. Um by the time I built these and then obviously I need to expand to do the other stuff like the bank I want that quite a big dominant building a bit like the town hall maybe a similar design maybe but I think what we've done there is um, design some shops so I'm going to go quickly and get some more of these stuff and you will see the finished product so see you in a minute guys right guys so the shops are done now um, well I say that the floors and they still need to be fitted out um, which I'll probably do the fitting out of all of them in another episode of all them in the houses so that'll be done in another episode but the floor um, I don't know what I'm going to do the floor out of um, I think it should be probably a wooden one maybe not the same in each one um, I'm not sure but what else is there? I mean you've got like andesite and what's the other one called andesite do Dorites, I don't know, Dorites or something, I, I, I'm really bad at pronouncing stuff like that. And what else is the other one? Um, the RNG one. Oh, I can't I can't remember what it's called. But we got stuff like that we could do it with. But I don't think, I don't know if it'll go with the colour of the wood and the stone together. So let's go and have a look in our chests and see what we have. Um... We'll get double right and a side and 
What's the other one? It's going to have to tell me somewhere, isn't it? Oh, I don't even know. It'll come to me. Um, we've got wood, obviously. This is kind of a tough decision. I mean, just, I haven't even filled them. I got our oh, books. I will need some of them. Cobbles, ah, granite. That's the one. There you go. All three of them. <laughs> so, um, I could actually have red sandstone. No, I don't think it would work, would it? Mm. Maybe cobblestone, because I've got absolutely tons of that at the quarry. So, yeah, let's do cobblestone. So, let's get some cobblestone and go back over to the shops. Right, so I've started doing the floor. Kind of a hard, difficult job, I suppose, putting the floor down. As you can see, it's going to take quite a lot of cobblestone. It's Is it going to be 10 squared? I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how big each one. Oh, it's going to be eight. It's going to be about eighty blocks, isn't it, for each one? I think, which is just over a stack. Yeah, it should be just over eighty. I think it goes quite well with the whole thing. So, I want to uh, get this done. But unfortunately, I've run out of cobblestone. I need to go over to the quarry and get some more. But for now, I think we're going to call it an episode, guys. So, that's what the shops will look like and look like look like. Sorry, and yeah can i get rid of the mini map no i can't it's saying that looking on the mini map it does actually uh close it 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 looks quite impressive you've got obviously on my house over here with the quarry the farms jeremy's house and then you've got all of the um buildings of the town hall the shops the houses the shops will be there can you see these four them that's where the other rubber shops will be. The clock will be here. I mean, that is actually a really cool map. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of Jeremy's Town. And I hope you did enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to drop a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe just to stay tuned for more episodes. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.